And talking about reconciliation, there was jubilant scenes today at the headquarters of the People's Democratic Party as the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar paid a visit to the National Chairman of the Party's Caretaker Committee. He was accompanied by PDP leaders from Adamawa State and the former Governor of Niger State, Babangida Aliyu. The visit, according to Mr. Tiku, is to reunite with members of the party and to establish the fact that he has come to stay. While thanking the Makarfi-led committee for working very hard to unite the party, he praised the PDP for opening its doors to all who left the party, appealing that returnees should be allowed to contest equally with any other member. He also prayed, paid tribute to those who stood fast, never decamped, even when it was almost hopeless for the PDP. Responding to his remarks, the chairman of the caretaker committee, Ahmed Makarfi, confirmed that he has long before now been discussing with Atiku on the state of the nation, his return as a result of the confidence he still has in the PDP. He promised to continue working with Mr. Tiku for the rebuilding of the PDP as they target the presidency in 2019. Now that we have learned our lessons, I hope that we will be guided by the lessons we have learned. And that is to make sure that we build an all-inclusive party, a party where every part of this country will have a sense of belonging and a sense of participation. All what I have come to do today is to come and show my face. Many people have read in the media that I have returned home. This is the home. Let me, in conclusion, Mr. Chairman, pay tribute to the past leadership of this great party, wherever they may be, and to call upon them to please return home as I have done. All for you, everybody is treated fairly justly and given a level playing field to pursue his or her uh, uh, personal aspirations. That what PDP must stand for if it is to survive. And I believe PDP will stand for that. That we treat everybody fairly and equitably and give everybody a level playing field. And that is how democracy must be practiced and that is how democracy would be practiced.